Simply Heavenly. The real-time strategy game Black and White is being developed at Lionhead Studios, located in the British city of Guildford, approximately an hour's drive south of London. A team assembled around cult designer Peter Molyneux has been working away for 15 months on the implementation of a fascinating idea. The player acts as God. He tries to convert numerous peoples into being his believers and then watches over his subjects as one would care for his children. At E3, we spoke to Peter about the most recent development status of the game. This is your citadel. This is where you reside. Um, and this is, um, this obviously changes and morphs to reflect what you're like as a games player. Just as I, well, I said, the landscape around it changes and morphs. So uh, you'll notice the first thing in the game that, um, unlike all my previous games that had a huge number of icons and Dungeon Keeper there was some 64 icons, this has none. There are no icons in this game whatsoever. The only thing there is is this hand. And this hand replaces those icons and it also replaces the keyboard. Um, I wanted to sort of redesign and relook at the way these games were played. So. All you do to scroll around the world is to literally click and grab the landscape. And you can pull the landscape foot towards you or throw it away. You can pull the landscape around. That's all just using the mouse. It's all really, really, really simple to use. At the Citadel, the player can acquire a variety of magic spells. And a lot of the, a lot of the spells are really, really powerful. Like this is a, a lightning bolt, uh, which I can cast cast around like that, and if you can imagine your creature firing those lightning bolts at other, other people's creatures. In addition to their good sense of humor, the game's designers also have a great love for details. Party trick now. Um, and I'm actually going to use the keyboard for this because I have to go closer than I normally do. So if you have a look in that storage pit, you can just see here there is a barrel. And on that barrel uh, is a little apple. And in that apple you can just see there is a worm. And I can go from looking at this worm and pull back and actually look at the whole village, obviously, and even go further back and look at the whole world. And as you see, there is very, very little in the, in the, in the change of the frame rate of the game. The Titans play an important role. The player can create them out of any living thing. Players can then use these creatures to help their own peoples or as a weapon against another player's peoples. The first thing um, it, to note to remember is that at the start of the game, he's actually this small, tiny little thing. He's not this huge thing. And then as you nurture and grow him up, he gets bigger and bigger and bigger until he's absolutely huge within the world. Not only does he change his size, but if you encourage him to eat a lot, he will actually get fatter, fatter and fatter, or he will get thinner and thinner. If you encourage him to fight, you, creatures can fight each other. They, we have an absolutely full fighting system, as complete as you'd find in any fighting game. If you encourage him to fight and to exercise, he will actually start getting stronger and more muscular. If you encourage him to learn spells and learn magic, but then he's not, he's not exercising so much and he'll actually get weaker. And anything in between, so he can be fat and weak or he can be strong and, and fat. The gameplay focuses on the inhabitants of the various villages, the player's subjects. These little people, their job in this world is to worship you. You must, your objective is to get as many of these little people within this world to worship you. And at the moment, these people down here worship me, but there are lots of people in the world over here. We've got, um, we've got a North American Indian tribe which do that doesn't worship me at the moment. I can either go in there and I can kill a few of them or make them suffer or destroy a few of their buildings and they will worship me because they are frightened. Or I can go in there and give them food and gifts and they will worship me out of respect. And what happens when they finally worship me they build uh, this, um, this thing here. This is a, uh, a totem, and it allows me to summon them to worship me at my worship site. So I can pull that totem up, 
and they will all go off and start worship me, worshiping me at the uh, this worship site. The version that Peter presented in L.A. was already very advanced, although graphics and sound will be perfected even further. The developers are doing everything in their power to breathe life into the game. After all, black and white is supposed to cause a sensation when it is launched at the end of the year.